Hello there and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once again continuing our Thrawn's Revenge 3.3 preview playthrough as the Ariado Authority. In the last episode, we uh, we struck out to Skarl and tried to take, or strike out to Fondor. We weren't going to take Fondor, but we were driven off anyways and lost a ship. Uh, we've got a bunch of attacks coming from a bunch of directions right now, too. So we're going to try to head that off. Ooh, look at that. That's actually probably not going to do anything. They're probably going to retreat as soon as they're in here. But it's Runa, Iatu, and uh, Bestine that they went in for. And we probably are going to start recruiting some legitimacy groups. Can we hit that? No, it's going to be moving too much. Yes, adjusting course. Star Destroyer standing by. Power and opportunity must be seized. They're if we can get there before the retreat timer, but no, it's... We might not retreat immediately? No, nope, they did. Okay, never mind. I was trying to rationalize and justify and make myself feel better. But it didn't didn't work. Well, let's, uh... Let's invade there first. I guess we want the the ATAT, so we'll get viewers in there. Brigade standing by. Yes, sir. Squad, move out. Yes, sir. The artillery is going to be a little bit in danger. Can I? I'd like to park it on the ocean back there, but. Doesn't look like that's going to be a possibility. Roger. Right away, sir. Awaiting your order. We'll at least have to keep it near Ready. our units. Just give me a target. They're not going to have a structure either, so they might come out further. Reporting in. We have to be kind of careful. Tank brigade ready. Roger that. Ready to go. On my way. Awaiting orders. Just littering your ATSTs as you go. Come on. Show some pride in your Online. local cluster. We've secured a landing zone. Always ready, sir. On the move. Inbound. Warm up. Confirm. Scouting area. Engaging enemy. Let's go. New coordinates. Charge. Reporting in. They had seven companies of the speeder bikes. But obviously those can't all be on the ground, so it wouldn't be all seven, but it's up to seven. We just don't know how many IDTs are here yet. But it's basically all speeder bikes or IDTs that they have in this, in this army. Form up, right away. Awaiting orders. Target acquired. Copy. I copy. Moving out. Copy. Uh, okay, let's angle over here. Affirmative. Because I think they've got a field base. And I think we might need to... Unit destroyed. Stop another one. Reporting. Unit destroyed. Yes, sir. Fall out. Targeting. Beers, can you please continue? Let's move Thank out. you. Ready. Enemy Those three... We already got that powered up. Alright. Let's see if the Bantha Skiffs can... Go and stop that. There's one. 
There's two just right in the face with the artillery shot. We have another vehicle we can bring down. That'd be good for that. Like Snowball, maybe. Get the the two M's. What is your order? You may start your approach. I will come standing by. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go get the field bases now. You just just get out of there. Armor ready. Let's run. Just give me a target. Tank brigade ready. Affirmative. And I guess we'll leave the infantry at the victory point. Kind of turret again. Only an infantry, infantry turret. Losers. Cool. Never mind. Don't need anything else. Planetary control achieved. And we got another legitimacy group. Okay, so I did want to, I do want to grab a Commodore Sector Group, and I think it's also worth grabbing Von Dark right now for Trent Reznor and Hagel. We'll engage in some kind of dialectic. Then will we be able to get over here? in time. Distance calculated. We can. That's... Uh, that's only two allegiances versus a balloter. We got more power. Incoming! Choose your reinforcements. Loaded. Moving out. Reinforcements cancelled. Move us to that position. Charging generator. Yes, Commander. Direct fire on the end. Destroyer ready. We'll win this. Send the coordinates. Ariatu and the galaxy are Lasers are our target. Awaiting orders. Destroyer Ariatu holding. Ariatu and the galaxy are mine. Destroyer station keeping. Okay, you probably have to focus on the ISD. They are really target. blasting in through there. Let us work Draw together. Their fire. So I'm gonna try to here. I'll keep this ISD on that allegiance. Keep this balloter on that allegiance. Sorry, sort of the authority. Let us work together. We'll keep Superior Delvartis rather than Inferior Delvartis, who was in the crater earlier. Let us bring them hell. The lasers are on top. Show no mercy. Reporting. Awaiting your orders. We've got them on the Destroyer stage. ready. Excellent shot. Destroyer. Uh, I'm usually the one giving orders. Destroyer holding. Awaiting your command. Attack commencing. Destroyer at station keeping. Uh. Uh, if they try to retreat, I think we're going to want the engines down. But that's two more other allegiances that they can't replace easily. Though I guess we didn't, we haven't stopped Fondor yet. It's still going to be pumping out some ships. So we've done a lot to reduce their fleet power. We're ignoring the part that they destroyed an entire fleet of ours. Uh, that's not relevant, that doesn't count. And we're only going to focus on the fact that we've taken out like five or six allegiances that they can only build in one place. Awaiting orders. Those laser the only other problem is we know they have. Uh, what's his face? Back for another run. He won't be they have Gron out there, and they also have an executor somewhere, and that's probably how they killed the. That's probably how they killed X1 on Mustafar. But who can be sure? Okay, I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to send units after this point. 
I think I kind of have to send you over there. Heading out. Did I get rid of all the ground units? Moving to destination. Probably actually don't need to send you over there. Well, let's uh, get some spies on that. Oh, they actually took the planet? Crap. Right and they're going for grow. That's right in the middle, too. Eh. Okay, what do the charts say? 37% for the New Republic. 30% for the Empire. 23% for us. So the New Republic is actually the strongest faction right now. That's kind of crazy. Maybe since we've lost all that we had built up on Ord Vog, we just go to Nikillin. Because it can only be so built up, and this gives us a chance to just fight uh, an enemy fleet, take out more of that, and potentially jump in on the New Republic somewhere else. Because right now, we can't focus too much on trying to take territory. We have to reduce their forces however we can. And it looks like that's working with the Empire. Like, that's a pretty big stack, but it's not a stack that they can do much with. Okay, intensifying forward firepower. We can't even send in anything else. We needed, like, an ISD-1 in this fleet. Probably want to put Gendar with this. Like, I might even want to take all the ISDs out of this, have Gendar, the Allegiance, and then some smaller stuff. Or the Asserter, not the Allegiance. Different ships. I was looking at their Allegiance and wanting to kill us. Open fire. Super Star Destroyer ready. All yes, Commander. Because this fleet is obviously not a great comp. We can't even put in like 40 of our pop cap almost. The person again is asking, will point three be out before the year ends? Ah, uh, yeah. It, I can't see a world where we don't finish point three before the end of the year. That would be way too long. Unless something very bad happens. So I guess if it's ever releasing, it'll be before the end of the year. Like, we should be starting Fall of the Republic's beta soon, but there's less to do there than there is in Thrawn's Revenge or... Revenge Revenge, so it's not like we'll be doing like beta of Fall of the Republic straight into uh, straight into Thrawn's Revenge. And that's just the internal beta for Fall of the Republic as well. Start the process, which will at least give us some feedback on some of the things that we've done so far. Uh, get some early testing in because a lot of that testing applies to all the mods, which is always helpful. Don't like the HP gun firing. Has this actually been hit? Any plans for point four? Yep, we got a ton. There's a lot of stuff that's already ready for point four. Like day one of Father Republic's public release in our developer build, they'll be turned off. The huts will be in and basically playable. Returning to your position. So we'll be getting a pretty big head start on that. It'll probably be a shorter release cycle than point three has been. Uh, just because of how much has been done ahead of time and the general focuses of the release. It'll be a bit more faction focused compared to this release, which had a bit more system focus. We lost Vigil. Oh, that's why I didn't notice the damage from the first hypervelocity gun shot. Such a fool. Go to invade Runa again. Okay, I need to invade Yuna. Invasion commencing. Uh, the news video put out today talked about some new units for the Empire. So yes. Order acknowledged. Choose your reinforcements. Yes, Commander. 
Okay, this is just units again. We're gonna go up that hill. And I'm not sure how many units they have, but it is it is only units. Move out. Maybe I'll throw in some more Moving out. infantry to protect back right there. Away. Order, sir. You are gonna go get the sensor. Moving to that area, sir. Is Mandalore planned for Fall of the Republic at any point? Uh, Mandalore is in some of the From the Ground Up maps, as well as some of the historical Reporting. maps. Uh, it will be in the progressive maps as well, in point four, or point three, rather. Moving to coordinates. Order or most of the progressive maps, not necessarily Heading all of them. Out. Reinforcements en route. Awaiting orders. Ready. They're in this direction. Okay, that explains some of the lagging we were getting. Roger. Reporting in. Oh, Veers. Get in there. Wait, oh, the IDT is... They've really been going for IDTs in this. But I probably shouldn't go too far... from the hill with anything, because they're just going to be flying up it. So they are going to get the field base from that. Or they did get the field base from that. They can't really have that much left, though. I don't think this was the, the full 10. Like there was on the other planet. I wouldn't be surprised if their ground production was pretty limited, though, too. And we did just see that the New Republic took... Uh, took Mustafar, so... They've got to be struggling elsewhere, too. I don't know where they've got their SSDs. That's the big... That's the big question. What are my favorite Maldrude units? The Strike Cruiser. The strike cruiser is the best. That's all you need. Just a full fleet of strike cruisers. You can't go wrong. There you go. Losing the artillery is not ideal either. But at least... This technically isn't my moth palace. Or it might be my Moth Palace still. I'm going to just assume it's my Moth Palace. And I'm claiming it for me. Destination is acknowledged. Let's move out. Let's go. The Republic's going to Belsivis. I'm going to try to take Ms. Talk. Or not necessarily take, but I'm going to go look at Mistalk, and we're going to scout out Fondor. Like, if we can do some damage to the New Republic now, and slowly get ourselves to the leadership position... Enemy forces ahead. That'll be helpful. Alright. We have Thunderous Applause. Their interdictor's at the front, so we should try to take those out quickly. We have... Wait, what do you mean I'm a carrier? Moving to coordinates. We have Rasoon. Order confirmed. We have Grand Vizier. We have the Skirmisher. Eidolon class. Emparis. Ditto. And Starforge. Navigating to coordinates. And I'll deploy some other stuff based on yes. how things go. We'll yeah, I I do need to, to focus on that. They might get a little too far away if I let that go. Your command, sir. Attacking. Destroyer ready. Right. Now you can finish that off. <laughs> What's the pop cap in Revenge Revenge? It's probably gonna end up being two fifty, but that's not hundred percent decided yet. It might be lower. Commander. 
Might be higher. Too early to say. Heading for attack position. This ability is that. Sir, I... I've got him. Ah. Roger that. Oh well. Destroy the engines. Yes, sir. The bombers uh, are definitely helping. Technically, they should have some as well. Focusing all firepower. Reporting. Understood. All power to the okay, Let's bring in Our primary engine system is down. Magister Vindicta. Form up. Targeting. Destroyer uh. here. Yes, sir. Commencing attack run. Bombers standing by. Okay, bombers get onto the Golan. Ready to update orders. Raider. Shoot the units that I'd actually prefer you shoot. And then everyone else, uh, let's get the power to weapons Target going on. Choose your reinforcements. I think we can bring in Ghost Rider and Hoth and Battle Rager. I'm gonna send them after the shipyard. Okay. Now we take the shipyard. Falling out of formation. Have I ever lost a stream playthrough? Uh, I guess technically the Stargate ones I've lost a few times or been in a position where I considered it lost before saves coming. Ready. I think I've lost the Bombers at the ready. TR ones. Moving out. Stay a lot of the AI limits in TR are also set up to like. Get behind them. Not lose. If we if I play with the no limit sub mod that Bob put out, there'd probably be a higher chance of it. Like the Stargate ones are kind of set up for you to lose, so that's a much less rare occurrence. Target locked. Star Destroyer reporting in. Orders, sir. Pursuing enemy forces. Excellent shot. Ready. Open fire. Okay, I think We've got them on scope. just to lessen the pressure a little bit, we might need to do just kind of a run through New Republic territory. the primary target. Advancing on target. Cruiser reporting. Draw their fire. Taking them out. Awaiting orders. Attack commencing. Awaiting your orders. Locking on. I'd love for them to be a threat to the Empire so they, they can all just beat each other. But right now, we're kind of struggling. So if I can relieve that pressure a little bit, give us a bit more time to build back up uh, and build up the rest of our units, then then we're laughing. Stay in formation. Weapons ready. Excellent shot. Team comments are the land of strange conspiracy theories. That's that's all there is to it. Nothing I can do about them. They'll they'll do what they do. They can believe whatever they want on the internet. Reporting in, sir. Heading out. Awaiting orders. It's always funny to me to like learn what I've done or what my opinions are on online platforms. Like, if I see comments about, like, Tapcalf, then there are people who are, like, posting about what me and X opinions are. It's like, oh shit, apparently I hate the Clone Wars. That's, that's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, we lost Ditto and Timparis. That's not great. Uh, I think it's time to queue up some more of our regular ships. Or not regular ships, but non-heroes. Uh, Rightful Vengeance. Unit. Ariadu we can get. Not the Star Destroyer, we can get Space Toblerone. These are units that nearly, uh... Nearly became useless with the heroes. Distance calculated. Okay. 
Peggle and Resner have a VSD and an ISD. That's pretty good. I'm gonna put them over here. Heading to destination. You are going on this. We're moving out. And we're gonna save. Because we are taking the kill in, which I don't think I've played on stream before. I don't think I've played this map on stream. Invasion commencing. We can get a mine here, we can deprive them of a mine, we can get a hyper velocity gun potentially. Uh, it keeps the same areas protected as Ordvog. It doesn't open up any more paths in, and it kind of protects another oh, corridor. Me. So we got the we got the mining thing. Got the texture Reporting. scroll underneath to make it look like it's all moving. Order acknowledged. Very epic. Your got artillery to moving make it look like division. everyone else is getting shot. Yes, commander. Reinforcements on route. Roger that. Order acknowledged. One of my favorite legends books. Uh, Order. probably the New Jedi Order. Like that's the, the New Jedi Order is the stuff that got me into Star Wars as a kid. So I have this way, like a bigger nostalgia factor for those. And like Trader is really good. Trader is one of the best Star Wars books. So far in the stuff that me and Ek have read for our podcast, Pap Cap Transmissions. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got the Darth Plagueis book in close to the top spot. I think one of the other S tier books was also MedStar, which I think a lot of people sleep on. So I definitely recommend checking out MedStar if you haven't. I don't remember what our other S tier books are offhand for Legends. Like, my favorite overall Star Wars books right now are Alphabet Squadron Trilogy. Brigade standing by. Like, I think two of those books are in S tier as well. Tier systems, I will say, arbitrary and reductive, but hey, when you're podcasting, you gotta have some way to easily compare. Yeah, the Thrawn books and X-Wing books are good. Nice Star Wars feel, some good characters, fun stuff happens. System control achieved. Wessex. Well, my idiotic father is a traitor to the Glorious Empire, my family is still loyal. You know what I have achieved and still have so much left to achieve. You will have the loyalty of my husband and I on one condition, I want my father brought in front of me alive. I don't think we actually gave Dark Rendezvous a letter grade. No, we did. I think we both gave it like a C or something. It was fine. Wasn't like the best book ever. Wasn't the worst. Okay, this is their capital. They have Villas Andal there. That's... Ugh, that's really saving them some, some cash. What the quiche? How many ships do they have there? That's actually... Well, let's go... Oh, they're... They moved out. I'm going to Atrevis. That's gotta be... Yeah, that's more New Republic stuff. I really want to destroy this and stop them from benefiting from anything. Do they have Porcello? Does the New Republic have Porcello? They do. Hmm. Tactical battle imminent. Can't stop that. Move out. You guys. We shall be up there. 
And I think we do just want to... Right away. Go to call. Tactical battle imminent. Ooh, I don't think we actually want to go to call. There they are! Blast them! Maybe it's smaller ships. I mean, they can't build capital ships. So they're low on their... Uh, their MC ADB pluses. Uh, unfortunately, Lord Hosk, I, I can't say that I have. Choose your reinforcements. Okay, I think we've got this. I just don't know what they have in reserve. It doesn't look like they have a full 300 on here. So let's go with Rasoon. You got, what do you mean I'm a carrier? I'm going to put in the end is nigh so they can't leave. We're on the move. Uh, the skirmisher. Ghost Rider. Off. Coming about. Star Forge. Newly constituted We're authority. Then we have Araya yes, Wutz. We have Edelon, class superstar destroyers, nephews, friends, brother in law. And I think we win. If we don't, we're in trouble, because the interdictors will be a problem. Because they have like seven of them. But I'm feeling like taking a risk here. And then, if the game... If it doesn't go well, the game can always crash. Who's going to say anything? Now, if the game actually does crash, I'm going to feel bad. That was a joke. I, I, I'm not going to save scum in this. I only do it in the Stargate one because like, I've gotten to the point where the the game is just like literally unwinnable. So it's either end the playthrough or load an earlier save. In the AI behavior, ever improved? Yeah, we have made many improvements. We also have like our goal isn't necessarily to have the AI beat the player; it's to provide a reasonable challenge that's fun throughout the game. Uh, but there's also like a sub mod that mod that Bob, who does our AI, put out, where some of the limits on AI attacks and AI behaviors that are kind of left out because they're not fun to play against, are like those behaviors are allowed for people who want just like more of a challenge and to be pushed to the edge if they're in a position where they're losing. But that's again generally not how we design main mods. Some of those behaviors might make their way into cruel. Uh, it in exchange for some of the credit costs potentially, or some of the credit boosts. But I can't switch position. Under control. Yeah, they're being forward with the with the interdictors, but they're also uh, they've got these other targets that are just so so juicy. I think I need the bombers up here. Wait, what do you mean I'm a carrier is... I guess an accurate sentiment when it gets fighters halfway through the playthrough, but... Well, it's, uh... I don't think anything there is gonna die. I think we can... Get up. Our launch bay is gone. My scopes are jammed. Over there. Unable to shake them. Someone destroy a helmet. Roger that. Attacking. Ready. Cruiser reporting. My ah! Firing. Ah! Launching attack. Destroy our fighters on me. Sights. We'll level them. Form up. Targeting. Firing. All right. I was very worried about reinforcements and interdictors turning this into uh, a situation I didn't want to be in. But instead, we have made a lot of progress in turning the New Republic into the, the Goo Republic. Yeah. How many shipyards are this? Is it this map? Uh, it's not a huge amount. It's actually a pretty shipyard 
sparse map. There's Mephout and Luwak. So the shipyards we don't have, there's Mephout, Luwak, that's like the only two in the in the east or south, or west or south rather. We have Sluisfan, Solus, and Bormus. Uh, I think I think Solusvan and Solusvan, Solus and Sluisvan are both there. Then Fondor and Skarl. Technically, we have Skarl right now, so it's just Fondor, Mephout, and Luwak that we don't have. But I'm expecting Skarl to be taken back any second. Star Destroyer standing by. What are your orders? Full speed. I'm not even, like, trying to defend it. Bondor I'd love to have. Luek is still a bit of a campaign away. We'd have to put, like, all of our resources into building up some mid-tier ships. We don't have any capital ships in the west ourselves, but we could potentially go in, get Luek, and then Mephout is only a couple jumps away. Charging generator. Destroyer ready. Intercepting. Excellent shot. Uh, we are so close. They're obviously not going to retreat because they don't have. Uh, they don't have any desire to. We have an interdictor. Commander. I have them now. Uh, uh, Reporting in, uh, they're hitting us. Okay, let's move these up a little bit yep. more. I don't think they're gonna do anything. We'll win this. Ready for duty. Like, I think we're yeah. gonna be past it by the time they're actually in there. I really so the Arctic planets in the oceanic planets I think turned out the best. I think the other planet types don't look quite as good, and I'm kind of sad about it. It's something we still need to work on a little bit. Also, the blending of the of the planet rings and the sky domes. Those are all areas where I think are the the biggest opportunity points for visual improvement in the mod. Roger that. Moving into position. Where are the others? Uh, uh, lock. Watch your back. Star uh, where those are on target. I've been hit. Uh, Locking on. Uh, oh. Initiating a I'm gonna check if the New Republic's territory is all he won't be around much longer. Contiguous or not. Star Destroyer reporting in. Fire at will. Sir, I attack. Awaiting target. Target those lasers. Attack. Yes, Commander. Order confirmed. This is still on the map down here. I guess it's got to be the fighters that that's. Yeah. Coming around. Okay. Well, yeah, the volcanic one actually, and the blue version of that came off. But that's going to do it for today's episode, so thank you so much for watching, everyone. We are going to continue for at least one more here on Twitch, so stay tuned if you're there. But for everyone else, thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone.